Hello, this is Tor from EdCon, and this is part seven in common mistakes when performing root cause failure analysis. The mistake we're going to talk about today is that we don't differentiate between an FMEA and an RCFA. FMEA Failure Mode and Effects Analysis, and RCFA, Root Cause Failure Analysis. So in this slide here, we'll see just very quickly what we're talking about, um, just, just terminology. Uh, we typically have to the very left, in red, we do have a, a trigger, and that's really the reason why we're doing the root cause. Um, the green box in the middle is the problem statement, and we talked about problem statement video one and two. You can find the videos, by the way, part one through six right here. And then we have the level one, which is kind of our creative level, where we're trying to say what are the, all the possible causes that could cause the problem statement, I should say. And here we want to include everything in level one. We want to include everything that we can because we don't want to miss anything. So here we can really, it's really identical to an FMEA to this point where root cause failure analysis differentiates from an FMEA is really when we go to the next step. Now, if we do an FMEA, we're gonna to have to investigate each and every one of these five boxes. By the way, if you're technically looking at this, if there's more boxes, this is just a start on a, uh, on just to show the principle. However, in the FMEA, we have to go through every single one of those and look at every single possible failure mode for each and every one of those five boxes. And that can go down to level two, three, four, five, six, seven. But what do we do with the root cause failure analysis? Well, in root cause failure analysis, we're gonna take the evidence that we have, and then we're gonna look at the evidence, and we're gonna compare it to each one of those possible causes, and we're gonna say, where does the evidence lead us? So we usually gonna investigate based on the evidence and where it leads us. So we're basically gonna do a subset of an FMEA. Now, some people are gonna say, well, why don't we do an FMEA? That's great, because then we have all the failure modes and we have it all figured out, and then we'll see which one is right. Well, the main reason is time. Most of us don't have time to sit around for three, four days and do an FMEA on everything that fails in the plan. If you do have that time, good for you. It's probably a good exercise, and then we can do the FMEA together with the root cause failure analysis. But this is a matter of efficiency. So to be effective, for most of us, Look at where that evidence lead you and follow the evidence, whereas in FMEA, we just look at every single possible failure mode. I hope that helped, and please subscribe and click the little bell. We're trying to do these videos about once a week so you can get an update, and um, perhaps we can teach you something new. Who knows? Thank you for listening.